It happened at breakfast toward the end of my week there. I had been craving toast for several days. The food had been remarkably good, but I had gotten it in my head that what was lacking was fresh baked bread. It didn't seem like such a big thing to wish for. The vegetarian meals just needed this one little touch to feel complete. On this morning, six days into my stay, the bread finally appeared. Granted, it was gluten-free and made from chickpea flour, but it still looked good. I cut myself a slice, toasted and buttered it, took a little bit of apricot jam, made myself a cup of tea, and settled silently into my seat to relish it all. I was very mindful and lifted the toast to my lips to take a bite. It was delicious. I chewed and tasted and swallowed and noticed the way I had been taught, how I wanted the next bite before I had completely finished the first. When the sweetness faded and the remnants of toast turned to cardboard in my mouth, I was ready for more. I waited, though, remembering the instructions for mindful eating, finish each mouthful completely before taking the next bite. I have only a vague recollection of what happened next. I believe my mind wandered to the laundry I had to do the next morning. There wasn't that much to think about anymore, but that didn't seem to be stopping me. Would I do one load or two? Could I put them both in at the same time? My wife would be happy if I came home with all my clothes washed. The next thing I remembered was that my toast was gone. Who ate my toast? My mind cried as I stared at my empty plate. And for a brief second, before the humor of the situation could take hold, the whole thing became a metaphor for my entire life. Ready to relish it, and it was already gone. I was staring into a big, empty, devouring hole where my toast and my life used to be. Who ate my toast, I repeated once again as I swiped my finger at the few crumbs left on my plate.